Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make an egg loaf in the Instant Pot. Hi, I'm Karen Peterson. I own the blog 365daysofcrockpot.com where I share Instant Pot recipes and slow cooker recipes with you for every day of the year. Here on YouTube, I come every Tuesday and share with you an Instant Pot recipe tip or trick. Today I'm going to be showing you um, something called an egg loaf. And if you don't know what that is, you're going to find out quickly. It's just a way for you to quickly make a bunch of hard boiled eggs. Let's say you're making potato salad or egg salad or something like that where you need a bunch of chopped up eggs. This is the method that you definitely want to use. This could be life changing for you if you make these types of recipes a lot. Just really makes the process so much quicker. No peeling of eggs and it's all done in a hands-off method using your Instant Pot. You're gonna need a pan that will fit inside your Instant Pot. I'm using this stainless steel one. Spray it with nonstick cooking spray. This is important or else the eggs will just totally stick to the bottom and it will kind of defeat the purpose. I have six eggs I'm going to crack into my pan. You can use more than six eggs, but that's just how many I'm going to be making today. I have this cool silicone sling that serves as a kind of a trivet too. So I'm gonna be using that. Put the pan on top of your sling or your trivet and put it into your pot. However, before we do that, I'm going to add in one cup of water into the bottom of my Instant Pot. Then I'm gonna lower the sling into the bottom. Make sure your valve is set to sealing and set your manual or your pressure cook button to five minutes. Once the five minutes is up, it's gonna say L and then the pot is going to start counting up. Let it count to five minutes and then we'll release the rest of the pressure. Whoops, I let it go for 11 minutes instead of five, but it should still be okay. <laughs> I'm gonna release the pressure. Remove the lid. Take out the pan. You can see the eggs are cooked inside of this stainless steel pan. Dump the eggs onto a cutting board. One big loaf of eggs. And then chop. And then you have perfectly done hard boiled eggs that you didn't have to peel and you can use these in a cob salad or put them in egg salad or avocado egg salad or potato salad. Whatever you choose to do with your eggs, they are delicious and they're perfectly cooked. I'm gonna put mine in an airtight container in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use them.